So I just flip sides and uh, put the record clamp on top of there and uh, used the bottle that came with it and put some solution on it. You don't have to use too much. And what it's hard to do, but what I'll show you is you would go like that holding that because I'm holding the cell phone. I can't do both at the same time. And then I'll show you and let you know how loud the vacuum is. The vacuum is loud, but it does its job. So I just wipe that around and I'll take the top off of that. So I just flipped it and I'm about to turn the, the vacuum on, which will get loud. Not So what you'll do is turn it at least like six times until the bottom side is like clear. whatever you feel is comfortable. And it's not louder than a vacuum cleaner. And that should be good. So we'll hit the switch off of that take the top off of that there and we'll uh, flip it over so both sides are clean right now and what I'm going to do is uh, place it on the Marantz TT 15 S1 and try to do a sound demo because this one when I got it at usually I get my vinyl at QC sounds but I got it at Walmart it was exclusive for this colored disc and see if it eliminates the cracks and the pops. Okay, so we'll drop the needle and play and see if it eliminates the pops and on this album, which it was really bad when we first got it. Mm -hmm. 